what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking as usual i'm really grateful to all those who have been coming back to watch my videos and if this is your first time do me a favor click the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together so guys in today's video i'm going to install led auxiliary lights for my honda cb500x 2019 version So when I got this bike in uh, late 2019, I did one of my first videos and it was about the headlights. And I was full of praise for the headlights because at the time I was just coming from a halogen bulb motorcycle up to a motorcycle that had LED lights all around. So I was really excited. And I remember in that video, I said good things about the headlights, but as I rode the bike, uh, over a couple of years, over and over again, I keep realizing that the headlights on the Honda CB500X are not bright enough. They're adequate in some situations, but inadequate in other situations. And as a motorcyclist, you know that uh, it's very important to see the road clearly and also to be seen while you're on the road because not every road user has good eyes. So I made a decision to buy extra lights uh, for my Honda CB500. So let me go and show you the auxiliary lights that I bought. I think they are really good and I hope you will like them too. So guys, these are the auxiliary lights that I bought for my Honda CB500X. Um, and let me just quickly show you the packaging. So it came in this box. Let me just flip it over. It simply says LED headlight, advanced auto and it says the advanced auto LED lighting system. I um, don't know if you can see clearly. And uh, this is the cover. So let me just show you what came with it. First of all, I will show you the, the brackets, the mounting brackets. These are normal mounting brackets for mounting onto uh, bars on any, any motorcycle. And it also came with some uh, Allen keys as well. So that's really cool. And uh, this is a switch that came with it so it's got um, the low light and if you flip it upwards is the highlight and the middle is the is the off button but with the low light when you go back and forth it switches from strobe lights to flashing lights so it's got about four functions um, we'll see how it works when I, once I'm done installing and we do a full test or even night riding test of the of how the lights perform now it also comes with these two connector terminals this the red one is a positive the uh, black one is a negative and there is a there's a fuse in here and that's a good thing because when the fuse blows uh, it's kind of tight in here but there's definitely a fuse here. I took a look at it when I unboxed it. And it's got these really uh, well-made cables that run that will run all around the bike. Um, and they're long enough, depending on where you want to put it, install it on your bike. And depending on how big the bike is, uh, the length should be enough to, to cover whatever setup you want to do. These are the controllers. I'm sure this is where power comes in and is distributed. And there is another sort of system here maybe to control the amount of energy or power that's going to the lights and as you can see i've installed one of the brackets already so before you tighten when you install the brackets before you tighten it up you can actually turn the lights to and point to be able to point it there directly to where you want it to be pointed to and then this part is a part that goes screwed on your bar. As you can see, it's really, really small. If I put it in my palm, you can see that it's really, really tiny. But from reviews and videos that I saw, it's really, really bright. So we'll wait to see when we do the testing. And there's something interesting here. It's got a fan at the back. The purchase information says it's fully waterproof. But I can see there's a fan here to cool it down, especially on hot days when you're when you're riding. 
So uh, we wait to see how it, it, it performs. But overall, the build quality is really good. The metal looks solid, nicely cut out. Looks like laser cut. And the lens is just a tiny bit lens that is coming out. So it's not going to be uh, too showy on the bike, but I'm sure it's gonna do a good job. Give you some punchy, bright LED lighting. And um, I was trying to test if it works. And so I had to install these pins but as you can see there's a male and female here and it's very easy plug and play uh, and there's this guide groove here if you can see there's a guide groove here and there are the four pins here so you just align it and you push it inside all around so it's pretty easy to to install and so that's about it that's what comes in the package no instruction manual or nothing like that but I'm sure they did that because it's basically self-explanatory. You just connect the cables. And um, one thing that I have to do is to connect these to the battery terminals. It's a lot easier than doing all kinds of wiring. I'm not very technical in that. So this is a, it will be a quite easy installation for me. And uh, yeah, so that's all that came in the package. Let's go ahead and start the installation process. So I've been thinking for a while where to mount these auxiliary lights on the Honda CB500X. I have the Lobu um, brand of crash guards and it's done a good job in protecting this bike or twice already uh, when there was strong winds and the bike fell over. Um, but, but then the design that comes with this makes it a little bit difficult to install these on the side although it swivels after installing on the bar it swivels so you can adjust it to the position you want it doesn't swivel that far i would say about uh, maybe some 60 degrees swivel from left to right so it's kind of hard and it seems like the logical place to install it would be um, here but i've always admired when auxiliary lights especially on adventure bikes are installed on on the side of the bike. Um, this gives the feel of the bike looking wider from a distance. And also it just helps you through the light, uh, spread it a bit more out on the road. So um, I'm a bit um, not happy about installing it here, close to the, uh, the, the headlamps of the bike. But then again, it's kind of hard to uh, want to install it on the side on any of these bars because then it's it's difficult to to be able to align it another location that i'd like to install these would have been here on this lower uh crash bar that protects the engine uh, i think it would look really cool here but again then again i'm thinking that if i install it here then even though i've got this mud guard extension when it rains and uh, the road is wet the wheels are still going to throw a lot of um, debris and mud onto onto the headlights so it's gonna need cleaning often and I don't know how long it will last with that happening over time so um, that gets me thinking but let me do a few testing around and see where it will be appropriate to install this on the bike all right guys so after fighting with reason for a while it seems logical to mounted right here even though it's not my preferred location but if you just make it a little easier to run the cables through so they don't um, hang around uh, badly so let's go ahead and let me get these brackets tightened and get it screwed on onto the bar As I'll be installing the auxiliary lights on the crash bars, which are kind of vibrating parts, I'm just going to put a bit of Loctite on the screws so that they don't come off after a while. One thing I want to do is I want to put some rubber on the crash bars 
before I wrap the brackets over and tighten them because I don't want because these are metal to metal and I don't want the crash brass to scratch and then also it just the rubber might just from the rubber from an old tube might just help it fit a bit more uh, stable Alright guys, so now that the two lights are installed on the crash bars, it's time to go and do the wiring. Alright guys, so after about an hour of twisting and turning, I've come to the end of this project and I have all the cables, all the wiring tucked in under the under the fairings really nicely and I, I spent so much time because I was trying to keep everything nicely tucked away so as you can see um, I've arranged them really nicely below below the seat and I've also installed the controller right here on the handlebars to make it easy for me to operate whilst on the move. I'm going to place the camera in front of the motorcycle so you can see how the LEDs look like. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for staying with me. Um, it was just a video to show you the installation of auxiliary lights on my 2019 Honda CB500X. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell. So anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Well, the installation is done, but as it's still daytime, I can't test it now. I'll test it at night and bring you another video to show you how it's performing and how it's able to illuminate the road properly uh, much better than the original LED headlights that come on the motorcycle. Only then will I be able to know if I need to make adjustments to the height or, or otherwise. So thank you again for watching. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace out.